Okay, let's continue our practice sessions with solving a question that involves finding the force on a submerged plate. Okay, and this one is going to be on the easy end of the spectrum, and I'll keep going in terms of the hardness scale, right? Um, so this is the first one. The first thing that I have here is you can see that I have a green colored um, tank, water tank, and by the way, this is seawater's uh, property, specific weight. Um, and what I do get over here is I have myself an observation window so I can see inside of the tank. Okay, the question is, is testing you from two ends. So the first thing is, hey, what is the force on this? Okay, these are the forces, the first one listed. And the second one is, okay, you find the force, but how, where is this force acting? Okay, this is a distributed force. I need to have one particular point where this distributed force should be focused on to, and that's called the center of pressure. So in these type of questions, there are multiple methods of solving this, okay? Um, however, the thing is, um, if you look at my lecture videos, there are some cases where the formulation of approach fails, all right? Because I'm asking on the harder side. But looking at the FE exam, the basic formula that we establish, by the way, this is not written in your reference manual, okay? So that is this. F will be equal to specific weight of the fluid that I'm traveling in times HC times A. This will be just fine for the FE exam, okay? And basically, this is uh, fairly manageable now. Let's put in 10.1. Let's not forget the kilonewton because now I need to multiply this by uh, 1,000 to get into newtons. Or looking at the answers over here, I will leave it as the exact at kilonewtons so that it can cancel it off, okay? What about the HC? Now, I just want you to realize something about this HC, okay? This HC is for the geometric center. And this is not the where the pressure is acting on, okay? This is, if you want to think about it, this HC is in the easier end of the spectrum, okay? And if I'm asking you H, or we call it Y, YCP, or central pressure, then it's on the harder end of the spectrum, okay? So let's not co confuse them because I'm still using like a pressure, and sometimes I see students using central pressure in here. That's not quite accurate, okay? It's easier than that. So I'm looking at this particular shape, rectangle. Where will be... The, uh, well, I'm indicating actually when I'm asking a question. Um, where will be the center of the uh, geometric center of this plate? It will be right halfway through it, right? So if you think about it, it will be halfway through it. So this will be 0 0.5. And you see what is given here? 1 meter. 1 plus 0 0.5 is 1.5 meters. That's what I'm going to get for my HC value. What about the area? Well, it seems easy. 1 is the width of it. 1 is the height of it. And from here, I will get my F to be 10, uh, 15, uh, point, uh, 150, right? 50, uh, kilo newtons, right? So when I look at the choices, you can see that I'm down to C or D, right? A, B is out. Okay, so that's good. That's something. By the way, I'll tell you another hint. This is very handy. And I mentioned this multiple times, but it's important to repeat because we, re we learn by repetition, um, is this. The center of pressure will be a little bit lower in terms of the absolute sign. It will be higher number, okay? But in terms of the location, it will be a little bit lower than the HC value. Let's say that the HC is right here. This HC, YCP will be a little bit lower than that, okay? And so when I look at the choices that I have here, and you do realize that this HC was 1.5, and one of the choices is 1.48. So the right answer is D. Okay? So you can use this. And uh, on the real ex FE exam questions, I have observed that this logic sometimes gets rid of the 3 out of 4 answers. Okay? So this is very important, so I would like you to be cognizant of that. Right? But let me show you how to do it, because, well, who knows? Maybe you would, you're going to need it, right? There's a formula for that. So YCP will be equal to YC plus IXC divided by YC times A. So where did I just get this formula? It looks complicated. Did I memorize this? No. There's something called a fee reference manual, right? You're looking at it right in front of your screen. There are two screens. One screen has it, right? So you have access to this formula, and it's on page 179 for the 10th edition of this uh, you know, reference uh, manual, okay? And what they say about this YC is I want to be 
clear on that one, this is 1.5, okay? So they are talking about this value, 1.5, this is 1.5. What about the area? Well, it's up there. So the good thing, well, one times one. Um, the good thing about this is that um, you kind of have only one term missing over here. If you do the approach properly, you will only have this term, the rest will already be analyzed, okay, by the time you come to here. IXC, I need to, uh, this is unfortunately not written at least in the fluid mechanics section of it, okay, but for simple geometries like this, you may want to memorize this, um, and I'm sure many of you now is, while you're watching this video, is telling me this, 1 over 12 times BH cube, okay, B is the ba base, okay, so let me show here, the B is the base and height is 1, in this case it doesn't really matter, uh, right, but still it's important to notice that. From here this will be 1 times 1 cube, okay, so then you can see over here what I get is YCP is equal to 1.5 plus, what did I say, it will be a little bit more than that, right, that's why there's a positive sign, I'll get myself 1 over, what is 1.5 times uh, 12, that is 18, right. So you can see it's a little bit more than 1.5, and I'm sure it's going to be right around 1.55, okay? Actually, 1 over 18, sorry. It should be like this, right? Yeah, okay. So this will be meters. Uh, this will be, you see? And so D is the closest one that I get. Thank you for watching this video. Okay, let's go one step higher than the previous question, okay? Uh, back then, do you remember that uh, I had this as a rectangular observation window, right? This was a rectangular case. Right now, this turns out to be a circular one, okay? An observation window. And I'm asking you, what is the force? And I'm asking you, what is, or where is it acting? The first thing is the formula is the same. So I, again, I mentioned you should uh, memorize this, right? This is 10.1 kilonewton per meter cube. HC is still 1.5. Let's talk about it for a second. The center of the, the location of the geometric center is right at the center of the circle cross section, right? But you can see so that means 0 0.5 up here, but there's also one here, so it becomes 1.5. So this is identical to the previous question, okay? How about the area? So the area itself will be pi r squared or pi d squared over 4, right? So d is 1, so let's write it this way, pi over 4, 1 squared. Right? Okay, so if I punch this into my calculator, I will get myself uh, newtons, right? So it's right around this 12 kilonewtons range. Okay, then let's go ahead and find where is this acting. Okay, and it's the same formula as the last time. So I'm going to get myself YCP will be equal to YC plus IXC divided by YC times A. Right? Um, YC is 1.5, YC is 1.5, area is pi over 4 up there, right? What about IXC? I recommend you memorize this, okay? It's not a big deal. Pi r to the power of 4 divided by 4, that's for circular, okay? And r in this particular case is 0 0.5 or 1 over 2, right? So this value of 0 0.5 to the power of 4 will be 1 over 2 to the power of 4, that's going to be 16, right? Okay, let's take a look here. So you see pi over 4 cancel, right? I get 1 over 16 times 1.5, so I get myself YCP, YC, which is 1.5, is always a little bit more than that, so this time around I get 1 over 24. And when I do this, you will see that I'll get right around 154 meters, okay? Um, so this is the actually the answer, but again, note that this could not have been the answer, and this could not have been the answer as well, right? Because, as I said, this HC, YCP right here is always a little bit more than YC. So this 1.5, how can it be 1.48, right? So you can eliminate some choices like that as well. Thank you for watching this video.